Hi there. So um, Microsoft has released uh, the newer build uh, called uh, May build or uh, 2004, uh, which basically is uh, first two digit is uh, year 2020 and 04 is the month. So basically they were working on April and uh, they finish it and now when they released it they found out that uh, there are some issues with this. I'm always a Microsoft fan and um, I believe in Microsoft and I believe that uh, uh, whenever there is an update available you should update your computer. So what I did, uh, um, I have several computers so what I did uh, yesterday I um, downloaded and installed um, the build 2004 and I noticed that uh, one of my network drives um, it's, it's probably 11 year old NAS drive um, that it wasn't showing up and uh, I tried to figure out why it wasn't showing up um, and then um, I fiddled around with it and I knew that it was there uh, it has an IP address of 192.168.1.4 and you could get there and in fact you can even map it with that uh, IP address and it will work fine and but it will show up on the network the name of the drive but when you click on it it will say that uh, the path not available so I kind of figure out a workaround until Microsoft come up within uh, with a patch uh, so let's take a look okay so I installed the window 10 update uh, build 2004 and right after that when I installed the update I was prompted to uh, install this uh, patch let me show you which one was it it was like it was this one the moment I inst uh, I updated this patch and I go into network my NAS shows up but when, when I click on NAS I get this error okay which is means that the path was not found if you try to diagnose that it's not going to find anything um, so basically what has happened and I know uh, the, the it's there uh, and uh, if I try to map by doing the IP address it will work so let's take a look so let's say if I close that let me close that one and I map network drive and let's say I do Y and I type in the IP address and the name of the volume okay and I finish it's a reconnected sign in when I finish that it shows up right here so it is there so now if I go back to network still not showing up okay sometime it does show up so basically what's happening um, the link of the IP address to this NAS is somehow broken in this update so let me show you how what's going on so if I type in when I do at one six eight one four and I type in sorry, okay so uh, that is a name uh, you know uh, and that's basically 
this is the number actually of the MAC address. So that is the name of the device. It is linked to this IP address. So somehow in the update, this link is broken. But when I update um, using, when I, when I uh, map it using uh, uh, this address, it works. So there's a couple of things I could do. I mean, I know when I'm going to restart, even this is not going to work. Um, this is still not working. Okay. So there's a couple of things I could do. Let me see. It takes a while to, for it to say. Okay. It's no longer available. So we can just right click and disconnect this one. Which also takes a little while. Since uh, it doesn't have any link. Okay. So we want to disconnect. All right. Now. Since I already have that, um, let's add a network location. Custom, okay, IP address 192.168.1.4. I'm sorry, no, I gotta do it this way. 192.68.1.4. Volume one. Okay, and next. Uh, okay, I want to give a name NAS D Link three twenty one or D Link three twenty one. Next, finish. Here we go. Okay, so what I have done, I have created this. Uh, now, when I restart the computer, this may not even work. So, you know, I have this drive here and this one. Uh, so, let's take a look after I restart. And there's a couple of things uh, we got to do it. So, all right, let me restart the computer and pause this. Okay, so I restarted the computer. So let's take a look. If I go into my, you know, this PC, and I try to go, see it's already X there. If I click on it, yep, it cannot connect to that. Even though this is valid, but it just cannot connect to it. The link is broken, right? Same thing with the um, network location I created. But, Let's take a look at network. And network shows here. And it works here. Weird, huh? So if I try to map it using this, it will work. But then again, you have to do it manually every time, even though um, when you map it, you, you know, you say reconnect, uh, you, you know, next time. Uh, is for some reason it's not working. So what are we going to do? Um, there are a few steps that we're going to take. So let's take a look. All right. So let's uh, take care of our problem. First of all, let me delete this one. Okay. Disconnect. All right. I'll leave this one here. Okay. Click on the search type services and open services app okay next thing we have to do is go to okay function discovery host double click on it um, okay this has stopped and so what we do we want to make it automatic and start and apply okay same thing we do for this one this one is running but it's manual so you want to make it automatic apply okay 
next thing we have to do okay discovery same thing manual make it automatic apply okay right next thing we have to do is TCP IP uh, okay same thing TCP make it automatic and apply okay make it automatic Hold on one second, let's see. Okay, and then start and apply. All right, I think that will do here. Now, we can go back to Windows feature Windows feature on and off okay go all the way to SMB make sure all of these are checked okay now all right user log on so let's take a look Group policy, edit group policy, and we go to administrative template, we go to network, all right, network, okay, go to have a workstation. Enable a secure guest. Okay, it's enabled right now. It's okay. All right. Okay. I think this should do it. And I'm going to restart the computer and see if this works. All right. So I restarted the computer again after doing uh, configuration in the network setting. And uh, let's take a look. Uh, if I go into this PC and go to this network location, it's there. Okay. Now, if I go to network and I go here, it's there too. Right. So that's it. So when you restart the computer, it will work. Uh, this is a workaround um, uh, until Microsoft come up with a solution. Um, I understand it's an old uh, NAS, but uh, so far it's been working with all versions of Windows. And I don't know uh, what happened here, but um, these are the glitches sometimes uh, happens. In fact, it's been happening uh, quite a few times with Microsoft these days, but... Uh, um, I can understand they have so many different platforms to work on and uh, um, just you can't satisfy everything. Um, and uh, that, that is the reason why you have to do test, test, test in order to figure out everything. But, uh, uh, you know, this is the workaround. I mean, uh, I like this uh, window. I mean, uh, there's no other problem I see on my computer other than that but um, it's going to work so let's say if i have to save a file so let's open word and we open something test okay test okay and then we want to save it save as and we browse okay and we go to spc Okay, or network location. Okay, and we go over here. 
we go to volume and we can save it save this file so that's it folks um, I hope you like uh, this video and uh, please uh, share it and um, subscribe to my channel thank you very much